Now, getting kids interested in jazz is a very tall order. That's right, but a tall guy named Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is making it happen. The former NBA star is joining up with a Monterey favorite to make sure that L.A. area kids don't miss a beat. Sherry Sylvester has all of the beats. They call it an informant, a blend of information and performance designed by this trio of jazz musicians to show their audience that jazz is fun. This is no ordinary crowd. These 1,500 students are all part of Jazz Sports LA, a program sponsored by the Thelonious Monk Institute and named after the famous jazz pianist. Kids learn to play, and they learn to dream. You can do anything you want to do. Sports legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar inspires by comparing jazz to basketball. There's such a similarity between what I did uh, on the basketball court and what these people do professionally uh, to entertain us and, and to challenge our, our imagination and our sensitivity. Actor Billy D. Williams has been active in the program since its inception. He says jazz is more than just an art form. It's a music that I've always loved because of the, the not only what it does to emotionally, but what it does to intellectually. One element of the jazz sports program is education. Well-known musicians such as Herbie Hancock and the Tonight Show's band leader Kevin Eubanks go into classrooms to teach their craft. Then students get to show off their skills in front of crowds at L.A. Laker and Clipper basketball games. 15-year-old Ronald Bruner found himself center stage on center court. I was very happy, you know, I had, I mean, it was just like a whole lot of fun, a lot of friends of mine, so we all kind of clicked together. It sounded pretty, it was, it was, it was excellent. I had a lot of fun. Funding for the program comes almost exclusively from the Nissan Corporation. We feel there's a major opportunity to elevate jazz and jazz education in Los Angeles. Pianist Patrice Russian hopes she can help young people appreciate music. The door is cracked and we kick it wide open so that they can really fully appreciate it. And then the next time they go anywhere or hear jazz performed or really any kind of music performed, their appreciation for what's going up on on that stage is going to increase. <laughs> Sherry Sylvester, CNN, Los Angeles.